Did you know that there were saber tooth anchovies? <laughs> you know, here's the this thing. is I was not going to talk about this today, so I don't have a lot of a lot of detail here. But this is something actually researched from May of 2020. Um, so this did not just come out. And there are no longer saber tooth anchovies. There were saber tooth. There were saber tooth anchovies in the wake of uh, the KT boundary. So, you know, the Cretaceous tertiary boundary 65 million years ago. Um, probably the, the the mass extinction that was largely caused by Chicxul I never pronounce it, Chicxulub. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> you know, the, the big rock that hit uh, the planet around the Yucatan Peninsula, although there was also some stuff going on over in India with the Deccan traps. There's you know, a lot of stuff going on then. Massive extinctions. As things began to settle and there were all these niches open, a lot of clades <clears throat> produced forms that um, those clades had not seen before. And among them uh, in the anchovy clade were saber tooth anchovies. Saber tooth anchovies. Unfortunately, yeah. in fact, I, mean, I have I, a, I have a little uh, a little this. So this is published in the Royal Society. Uh, it's not a graphic so much, but then um, science um, has a little scientific illustration here. So this is just the science news reporting on the Royal Society paper, um, and it's this is weird because they say you know these saber tooth anchovies, which is what's being eaten here, were actually probably predators. So it's showing this is not a great graphic. It's just why I kind of wasn't going to show it, but. Um, but yeah, the the saber saber tooth one a single single saber tooth one saber tooth apparently yeah no yeah. oh um, my goodness that I, is a strange beast yeah, a single saber tooth on the upper jaw yeah single saber tooth in the upper yeah, jaw out of Pakistan why uh, I think they, they pier yeah they pierce with that and then they got all those all those fancy teeth on the bottom uh, that they use to chop 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 their upper gums. You know, I wasn't there. Yeah. It's... And I, I have not, I did not make, I thought we were going to talk about some other stuff. I did not fully prepare this uh, for today, but um, yeah, the I, I will post so, the um, Royal Society paper. Uh, yeah, again, published in May of 2020. I will just point out mm -hmm. that the... Oh, Sa most remarkable is that this is from the abstract of the paper. Sorry, published in the Royal Society uh, in 2020. Most remarkable is the presence of a single massive vomerine fang offset from the midline in both. So vomerine, that's just the vomer bone. So it's not quite on the midline, interestingly. Not quite. Yeah, I was yeah. going to wondering how it was yeah. going to form. Yeah. Yes, I was just going to say that the saber tooth anchovy is the stuff of pizza nightmares. Oh, totally. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, that's oh, and in fact, I think, I, so I, as it turns out, I tweeted about this back in 2020 and someone came back at me with that and I basically said that. You knew that there had been saber tooth anchovies in 2020 and now you tell and me? I know, I, for, I forgot. I don't you know, forgot? Honestly, I don't know how I ended up with this open on my computer. I was like, saber tooth anchovies, really? And I went back and I was like, wait, I, I talked about this a little bit online. Here's the thing. Yeah. Since 2020, I know. undoubtedly we have spoken about anchovies probably at least three times. I Probably not. In fact, no, I, this, this we may were, in fact be the first time that you and I have ever spoken about anchovies. We were locked anchovies. down together for months. We yes, must but, have talked about anchovies a few times. Anchovies. Yeah. Not a lot. I was not a high uh, level of traffic on that topic over I that period. I don't think so. I mean, if we're going to talk about pizza toppings, I think it's more likely to be pepperoni, so pineapple your, even. Your defense is that we never spoke of anchovies, and that's why you didn't mention the saber tooth variety. I would think, yeah, that's, yeah. I think that's my defense. It's going to be very hard for me to prove that's not true <laughs> at this point, but I doubt it. I think we spoke no, of anchovies. You think I was keeping You held this back. Really? Yeah. For this moment? I don't know for what. Who but knows? Yeah. yeah. You can't read my mind. No. Okay, well, good. Saber tooth anchovies um, off the list of things we have to mention. Um, but it did it did put me in mind of so like why why is that funny right like why is saber tooth anchovies I and mean, aside from the fact that it's actually a very strange like single off the midline on the vomer bone but like saber tooth anchovies sounds ridiculous because we have an idea of what that clade does and even if you don't think phylogenetically you don't think like an evolutionary biologist you still have an idea of like no anchovies aren't like that right um, so in that vein there are also vegetarian piranha. Vegetarian piranha. Right. So we had a friend in grad school whose research was on the clade of fishes in the Amazon that are piranhas, but there's a there's like a subclade within piranhas that are strict vegetarians, which is also surprising. They themselves are strict vegetarians. As opposed to I thought they ate vegetarians. They do not those ones. The non-vegetarian piranhas may specialize on eating vegetarians, although I doubt that. 
Yes, you have to eat more than one because they're not very satisfying. <laughs> Uh, okay. No, look, the reason it's funny, mm -hmm. the reason it's funny. Which, Sabertooth anchovy is Saber, vegetarian Saber, fries? So, Sabertooth anchovy yeah. is correct. The phrase is correctly structured to be funny. Yes. Because Sabertooth conjures something quite frightening. Yes. And anchovy <laughs> conjures the opposite. And so, it, it creates that little whiplash we call funny. Yeah. But, I mean, I think vegetarian piranha does the same thing. Yeah, it, yeah, in yeah, but it it's sort of a you know rapidly scale up in the vegetarian piranha case, and uh, scale down rapidly in the. I'm not sure, I'm not sure I understand what the scale is there, but, uh, but. Um, how 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 dangerous? How important? How high a priority is that you think uh, about this? Starting starting with the dangerous part. Yes. Uh, and then like, saber tooth. What? Oh, Andrew, oh, that's just funny. I see. So it's it can be humorous if you realize that the threat isn't what you thought it was. Oh my God! Whereas there's a saber tooth anchovy. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas it might be dangerous or just confusing if you're like, oh, it's a vegetarian. Like, what piranha? Oh, but it's a vegetarian. Wait, what again? Right. <laughs> yeah. How strict does this vegetarian piranha <laughs> adhere to its vegetarian right. diet? Is it one of these piranhas that also eats chicken, for instance? Was it one day or many days? <laughs>